What's up, y'all? I'm going to show y'all what y'all going to get at Maverick Transportation when you come down there. So, the first thing I'm going to give y'all is a map. This is an old map. This one the, the very first map I got at Maverick. But I got a new one. I just got a new one out of Pilot. But they're going to show y'all how to use the map, man. I'm going to be honest. When I first came out of Maverick, I, ain't know how, I did not know how to use a map. And I'm going to keep it real with y'all. I did not. And they showed me how to use the thing. And now we good. We use it all the time. It's my old map, man. But I like to keep it because it's my very first map I had got. Uh, when I started orientation, the next thing they gonna give you, man, is a law book, a paper law book. Just in case your tablet go out, man. Mine never went out, but they want you to have this in your truck just in case it go out. So pretty much, man, they, you gonna be filling this out when you come to marry like that first week. They gonna show you how to do it. Basically, just like practice. They gonna you gonna basically like log your time, like you been in the classroom when you was on break, when you was in the classroom when you on break, cause you gonna get new ones to break break when you come to Maverick. So, pretty much, man, you just put the driver ID. Mine would be M A P Z A. Then I put my name Xavier Map with a Z Z A V I E R. Last name M A P P. Funny thing is my last name Map, and I don't know how to use the map, map until I can't remember. That's weird, but they never teach us this in school. They, I mean, nobody really just showed me. I just, if I would have traveled somewhere, I just use my phone, you know, put a GPS in. But in trucking, you gotta know how to use the map because you never know when your GPS won't will, will not be working. But it's good to even trip plan. Don't even focus on GPS. Use your map, and yeah, use your map. And make sure you go on the right road, cause I don't care what anybody say, bro. GPS, it's not 100 right. I'm telling you, it's not. So, but it, don't worry about it. They gonna they gonna get you right, bro. I'm telling you, they are gonna get you right when you come down there. So, anyway, you gonna put your date, uh, driver code, all that name. Then they gonna show you how to log all this stuff out, and then you put your meter and all that. But after that, they gonna you gonna scan it in the classroom. They are gonna show you how to use all that. So basically you're gonna scan all your laws in. Now in the classroom, we're gonna go outside the classroom, go in like a little room, cover um, classroom now, and you're gonna everybody gonna scan their law book toward the end of the week. And then the next thing they're gonna give y'all in the truck is a building lady fill out sheet. I, I'm gonna be honest, I never use this thing. I'm gonna keep it real. I got a little notebook that I write all my pro number down and all that. Uh the unit number, trailer number. All that stuff. I mean, you could put it on there, but a little notebook. I just write my pro number down. Uh, the working stop gonna have all like the street name and all that. I just write the pro number now, just in case I lose my sheet. If I lose my sheet, I can just flip back my notebook. Okay, this is why I'm going on with St. Louis to Alabama. This is low, and they look married looking for this sheet. Cause when I scan the paperwork in on the Maverick app, and they can't read the sheet that good, I might gotta rescan it, and I just go my my notebook. Like, hey, this this the load, so I gotta go rescan that sheet. But if you know what I'm talking about, if you know what I'm talking about, this the you the Maverick app, the Maverick app. Go ahead, download it right now. If you know you come to Maverick, you think about coming to Maverick, just go ahead and download the Maverick app so you can already have it. So Maverick app, you scan a you take a picture of your uh, load. It's all on my Instagram, Facebook. Just follow that. It's on the bottom description. But I'm gonna explain it to you. Just take a picture of, it, send it in, and your your stuff gonna be there. Um, they gonna have the paperwork, but sometimes if you don't take a good enough picture, they really can't read. And they might want to die. Hey, uh, you can rescan this pro number, this and that. And if you ain't got a pro number right now, you just gotta like what low that is. But it'd be so easy. It'd be so much easier you just write the pro number now. Like it'd be so much easier because you can recognize the low. What is the low? So just write the pro number down. You ain't gotta go. Scrambles are like what what, what what pro number this is because they're gonna test you like pro number this we need that scan in so write pro number down where you going where you dropping off it so you can know what the load is but i advise you get like a little dollar tree notebook and just write air pro number down that's what i do or you can use this you could do that it don't matter what will work for you the next thing is man they gonna give you a a vest a vest right here it's right here free. I bought my own glove. I'm going to be real. Mary gave us some gloves. Them things were thick. I did not like them. They were like, remind me of cooking gloves. 
So them thing was like thick glove. I'm talking about a glove that you put your hand to get a pot out of st out of stove in. I did not, bro. I did not like no glove. I had by my own. Walmart, ten dollars. Do not go to Walmart and get no them little thin gloves. I'm telling you, you're gonna break them. They gonna rip. I went through. I all right, man, my freaking camera went hot. I don't even know why it went hot. The sun, it's freaking winter time, and I'm not in the sun, so I don't know why that thing went hot. So, I'm looking at the like the benefits and all that, if you didn't know. So, you get your healthcare benefit the first month of appointment, and you also get paid time off also, and Remember, you remember PTO is like most of these y'all that give you, you gotta wait like a week. Married, you just gotta wait after 30 days. You get one day, one day. Every month you get one day. Every month you get one day. That PTO. So that PTO basically a mile per day. If you a hard runner, for example, the guy I did interview with Chris a while back, this guy had $500 one day for PTO. That is crazy. I remember that. He told me that. I said, damn, bro, that's a lot. One day. Uh, and you got a weekly guarantee of 1100 And then they're going to start you. If you with no experience, 55 cents a mile. Uh, that's for a regional and flatbed on the road. You do glass. I believe them guys start at 60 cents a mile. I, more like, I'm, I think I'm 99% sure they start at 60 cents a mile. And... Your, did your base pay you get a two cent like the 55 cents you get a two cent raise in three months and you get another two cent raise in six months so uh yeah so glass i don't know if that still work the same do y'all get two cent raise in three months i'm not really sure but i know for a fact 99 percent chance y'all start at six cents a mile with no with no experience and drive a holiday you get paid oh yeah my forgot i forgot about that performance pay all right, they're gonna start for a one percent point performance pay, which are on top of your base pay, that fifty-five cent. So if you turn your paperwork in, uh, yeah, base I'll show you with a Marat scan it. Turn your paperwork in in time. I think after eight days, if you don't turn your paperwork in, they will start deducting point. It might be eight days or three days, but I, I really, I got a couple of measures before, but I really can't remember because I tried to scan my shit in quick as hell, so I ain't gotta get no point deducted, no accidents. If your load if, and have no accident. If your load is say 500 mile, right? It's trying to stay in that 500 mile range. So that's 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 another thing. And if you just sitting here, man, in the truck, like right now, I got the truck off. It's not on. And let's just say you not. If just say you just want to use the air for whatever reason, just get in the back. Turn your optimizer out on. If you want to know how to do that, that's on my Instagram, Facebook. But yeah, turn your optimizer out on. It's on the you just and then get in the very back of the truck and just use your air. Just don't send the truck. Just use the air in the front right here and just leave the truck idling. What I usually, if you want to use your air, only time you want to use your air and heater and all that cold air is when you're driving on the road. Just sitting here, I can just go in the back and you out to my auto, and you can still have the same air and air cold hot air all that in the back. If you just sitting here in the truck like this and you just have it on, just running, cause it's gonna shut off. Unless you got Optima Auto, you know. I mean, unless you gonna have your Optima Auto on and, you, and they know you in the back. But if you just sit here, just don't just leave that shit running. Don't don't even do it because you gonna mess your perform your uh P your PLP, which is going to your performance pay. I was telling y'all about. And that's how you uh, max out your performance pay. You do all that right and go up to six cents and. Trying to see what else. Hey yo, oh yeah, oh yeah. Truck wash. Keep your truck wash. Get your truck wash every 14 days. You can go any um blue beacon. Any blue beacon by Flying J's. They buy Flying J Pilot. And I assume Croft and Love sometime. And the next thing is you get driver driver holiday pay, six pay holidays a year. Pay life insurance. Employee support program. Not really sure what that is. Maverick smartphone out to keep you connected. I assume that's the Maverick app. But yeah, in the truck Wi-Fi, I got mine. I got y'all know I talk about the Wi-Fi for it's five dollars a week, unlimited. 
and you got deal to vision disability accident coverage you ain't got to get that if you want to but i got i got disability insurance just in case i get hurt they can pay a percentage on my check i'm not sure what the percentage is I don't want a lot of y'all, but when y'all when y'all come to marry, they're gonna tell you all this stuff. But I just want to let y'all know they got cancer coverage, they got virtual doctor on demand, they even got a program for if you need to talk to a uh what you call it, a counselor. If you got any problems, they can it's like a free coverage. You can uh, call like a, a 800 number, but you gotta set up appointment. I remember they were telling us in class. Uh they got and it's free for you, you ain't gotta pay for that. That's free. It's like a 800 number. You just gotta call marriage. Just say you need to talk to a counselor or a psychiatrist, and you just set up appointment. You got 401k, 100% match. Whatever you put in, they'll match it, and you get tuition reimbursement and GI bill, OGT approved, and you get your uh, what you call that? That pay you get. Training pay 750 a week. Training pay 750 a week. So I'm gonna tell y'all, man. If you think about coming to trucking, it's a sacrifice, man. It's a sacrifice. Sometimes you're gonna be missing events with your family. Sometimes you gotta be on the road, but you can make the money, man. It's the side. Sometimes the side that people don't tell you, you gonna make the money, but it's gonna be some times you're gonna be missing with your kids and your wife or your husband. But you got, you know, you got to know what you're doing it for. And you just got to just stay focused on your goal, what you're trying to do. Uh, you can keep living up, man. You ain't got to stay coming and drive forever. You can be a lease driver. Uh, I heard some of them guys get more, more flexibility. They can take out when they want. But you got to still think about it. You still got to make that truck payment. So you really just got to talk it out with your wife or husband. And just see how they feel. All right, guys, time for a new get a new camera because this this thing is acting up today. But yeah, man, it's just like a sacrifice you're gonna have to make. So think about coming, man. Just talk it over with your wife and wife and or your husband because you know we drive Monday through Saturday morning. Oh, it just it just depends. Like sometimes you get home Friday, sometimes you get home Saturday morning, sometimes you get home Friday night. It's just hard to say because. You don't ever know where you're gonna end up at. But and if you regional, they're gonna work you back to the house, flag over the road, you're gonna be out two weeks at a time. Every count is different. You know, some places don't even have a regional. Some places don't. I know Florida don't even have a regional account. So it's just like you just gotta just know what you're getting into. I mean, it's a good career. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Uh, you can bring your wife and husband along. As soon as you get your truck, you can do that. But I just had to just throw that out to you, you know, give you all the information. Give you all the information I can, man. But I hope this video helped. Um, I've been here for married for two years now. That did not seem like it been two years. That shit went by fast as hell. Um, uh, I know there's a lot of people, man, freaking left married, got their own truck. Cause, you know they won't have more flexibility you know do what they want to do they want to be busy and all there's nothing wrong you just got to find your road find your route you want to go you want to be a lease driver owner operator still the same thing right but oh you can be local get your spirit be local whatever whatever you feel like you need or you can be at maverick you just got to know what work for you man but keep them lights and clean man because if you want you don't like it or you just want to take off i mean if you just want to get done trucking whatever you can always use your license, whatever. So just keep the lights clean, man. I hope y'all like my content. Like and subscribe, man. Thank y'all for supporting the little small little channel I got, man. If y'all got any questions about marriage transportation or flatbed trucking questions in general, just hit me up. I'll be glad to help, man. Y'all have a good day.